Hello, this is Vettel121, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Dragoon. And yeah, let's start exploring this area over here. And uh, as you can see, probably should have done this first. And we get the Dancer Shoes, which uh, I imagine females can equip, can't they? Yeah, it gives 20 points of more agility. Hey, alright, definitely nice. Can Hassel wear it? No. Albert can't wear it, can, uh... Okay, yeah, it must be female exclusive, so that's definitely awesome there. So yeah, for right now, I'll equip that on Rose, that'll definitely help out. Yeah, I do sacrifice the therapy ring for that, but, oh well, she'll be acting more often now, which is good. So I'll just, uh, yeah, we'll go back to where I was. So, I'll, yeah, I'll meet you there. Yeah, for some reason I was thinking the dancer shoes were an accessory. They're not an accessory, they're feet gear. I don't know why I was thinking that. So, yeah, I don't have to sacrifice the therapy ring. Durr. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Alright, uh, yep. Only one way to go is this way. Alright. What is this? such a large space. Yeah, it is rather large. It's kind of like a coliseum. Congo feels, smells like blood. Hmm. Well, that was a good guess! <laughs> Honestly, I had no idea they were going to start saying that. I, that was just a guess. I really didn't know. Person, Yeah, I, di I didn't know. <laughs> the Ancestor. Once upon a time, it was a coliseum, but it wasn't for regular fights that you won or lost. It was for matches to the death. Well, obviously. Oh, okay. Yep, can't repeat the sins of the past. And, alright. Yep, let's go this way now. Only one way to go. And they're gonna make us climb up this whole wall, apparently. It's alright though. It's alright. At least the encounter rate in this game isn't ridiculous like other RPGs. Hmm. Alright, we get a healing portal there and a save point. Alright. After healing up there, let's try and explore this. Where does this take us? All the way down here. Alright. Anyways, yeah, where does this take us? Whoa. Alright then. Looks like we have to fight some enemies in this area. And it looks like there's a barrier up there as well. And yeah, I might as well show off this battle, I guess. I guess. Oh, we just gotta fight one of them? Well, that's not bad. I've been screwing up a lot of these additions in this area, too. God! See what I mean? It's not just screwing up the button timing, it's screwing up counters. Pleasure. Oh, well, whatever that was, it missed. 
Uh, whatever. Come on, Rose. What the hell? How did I screw that one up? Seriously, I timed it right. I might have to equip the uh, Ultimate War God on Rose because right now I'm having a lot of problems pulling off her, uh, her additions. Yeah, I'm equipping it. For some reason I can't do additions right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sucking really bad at these additions. I mean, really bad. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm not gonna explore that room just yet. Yeah, let's see where this goes. Does it lead to some treasure? Uh, no, actually it just leads to... What the hell is this? Okay then. Oh, we're supposed to like do these in a certain order then? Is that how it's supposed to work? Uh, how about no hassle? Well, what's he gonna do? Yeah, it pro yeah, no shit. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, they look like the symbols of the species actually. So uh maybe we aren't supposed to do this first. Hold on a second. Alright, I just checked the fact, and apparently there is two we can actually go. It's six, one... I think it's... I think two's the next one. Oh, wait, no, maybe it's three. Okay. Yeah, there's two paths we can take that lead to the same area, so... Oh, well, yeah, basically it's just trial and error. Okay, why are they gonna talk again? Congo thinks this is Gigantos, no? Yeah, I already know what it is. Well, at least in this, uh, at least this puzzle, they give you a sort of a clue, I guess. That you have to do them in a certain order, unlike some other RPGs I've played with puzzles that don't really give you good clues at all, and you're sitting there forever trying to figure it out. Lagaya 2 Dual Saga. If anybody's played Lagaya 2 Dual Saga, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I was stuck on a few puzzles in that game forever! Until I went to a fac, and then I was like, okay, those clues are terrible, but whatever. Anyways, what's next? Ugh, come on. Yeah, it's the order in which they were born to this world, okay. I didn't know we were going to get so many cutscenes for screwing up here. Okay, that was extremely weird. My game froze there for a second. So it must be this one. Yeah, that's what I thought. And I think this one's next. 
or maybe not. I don't know what order they're supposed to be in, but whatever, I think we have it now. Yes, an elevator comes down for us. Alright man, let's do it. Yeah, I'm actually going to show off two paths too. Both the paths. Because, uh, why not? You can get rewards for taking either path, so I figure it's probably, probably worth it to show off both. Or at least, so the fact says. And, uh, it's a dead end here. Let's go back. Wait, this is a virage. Uh-oh. Gotta fight another virage, huh? Belzac? Yeah, it's not a very pretty sight to see, that's for sure. And, yeah, we're gonna end up fighting it, actually. <laughs> yeah. Alright, it's boss time against another Virage. I think it's called, like, Super Virage or something like that. Lives remaining 10? This thing has 10 lives? Ooh, that's kind of nasty. Anyways, yeah, let's start taking this bastard out. Yeah, I'm still screwing up the frickin' additions. Come on, man. Ow. Yeah, that hurts pretty bad, actually. Yes, finally, I'm not going to screw it up. How am I screwing? How did I screw that up? with its... I don't even know what those are supposed to be. Like this guy's got quite a lot of HP. It drops rocks on us. Luckily, it missed Rose. Ah, 
Why the fuck? God. Ow.